So in this slide, I'm going to explain an RH factor and pregnancies. And where there is a problem with RH factor compatibility, we have the hemolytic disease of newborns. So how does this happen? So in addition to this video, you are able to watch a YouTube video on explaining this as well. And I also have notes and typed up description on how this works. So let's start with this. This problem only occurs in RH negative moms. So moms who are RH negative. An RH negative mom lacks the RH antigen. So that mom can be A negative, B negative, AB negative, or O negative. They do not <clears throat> have the RH antigen. So since the mom does not have an RH antigen, she has never experienced RH antigen before. This becomes a problem if um, the man of the, uh, the male sperm or the man the sperm contributor RH genetic material to the baby and the baby makes um, an RH antigen. So the baby would then be RH positive. So this baby could be any of these positive blood types containing the RH antigen. So while she's pregnant, she has the possibility of exposing herself now to the RH antigen because the baby has the RH antigen. This can occur during pregnancy or during labor and delivery. So during the first pregnancy, she's exposed to RH antigen. Without treatment, this first pregnancy does not have much of a problem. But between the pregnancy, since she's been exposed to the RH antigen, now the body is going to make antibodies against this RH antigen. And now she has the anti-D or the anti-RH antibodies. Okay, so now her body is filled with these antibodies against RH because now next time she's exposed to RH antigen, she's able and prepared to attack. So the next time she's pregnant, so the second pregnancy with an RH positive baby, the baby has RH antigens on it. Okay, so now her antibody is able to come and find the RH antigen on the red blood cell and attack the red blood cells. This will then cause the fetal red blood cells to hemolyze. Hemo means blood, lice means to cut. So it's going to cut the baby's red blood cells. So this leads to hemolytic disease. Okay. This is, of course, is a problem because, um, because this can cause anemia because now her red blood cells are lysed. But also this can cause problems relating to um, toxic brain syndrome because of lack of oxygen, but also the high levels of bilirubin released from the dead red blood cells. Well, now we have a treatment for this. So to prevent this from happening, you can give the mom a shot called Rogam at the 27th week of pregnancy and at 72, within 72 hours after labor and delivery. This will bind up the fetal RH antigen, meaning it'll cover it up. It's almost like a little mask. It'll cover up all the RH antigen, and this makes the, the mom not see, so it's kind of not seeing, really, really like covering up, so the mom is unaware there's RH antigens around, and this prevents the mom from making the anti-D antibody, okay? So what pregnancies do you need to give this Rogam shot? Well, to make sure that the mom does not ever have a chance of creating anti-D antibody, it is best practice to give every RH negative mom the Rogam shot to make sure that she does not develop um, the anti-D or the anti-RH antibody.